we're gonna do this first part together, but I'll just show you super quickly here. We're dividing our figure into seven or seven and a half heads like the video showed you. And I'm just running through each of the head regions. And again, like I said, we'll do this together as a group. So don't be stressed out if you don't totally understand now. But I'm just making this quick drawing to serve as a guide for me later in the lesson. And I'm focusing on the different size relationships. I'm only letting the legs bend at the knees and the ankle. If you make a curved leg, it's gonna look like it's broken. Now I'm gonna move to my arms. If you put your arms down straight, they actually will land somewhere on your leg. So don't make your arms too short. Now this is just kind of a tool for us to look back at so we have the correct proportion or body relationships. Now I'm gonna move on to my good paper. I'm working with construction paper crayons and I'm making different gesture figures that are all about the pose, what the figure is doing. I can switch colors whenever I like to. I can make some big, some small. They could all be equal in a line, or they could be up or down or upside down. All of those choices are artist's choices, and since you're the artist, that would be your choice. We'll do a lot of this together as a group and play around with some different posing, so that way you're able to get some good ideas for your drawing. So again, I'm making sure that the shoulders are always wider than the head. I'm making sure the legs are only bending at the knee. I'm making sure that my arms are longer than my body. And I think I can fit a couple more. I think this one I'm going to do like an upside down handstand guy. And this one, it's kind of overlapping, so I'm letting it go behind Mr. Blue there, you can see. And I think I can fit one doing the splits down in the corner here. That might be a fun way to fill that really long space. Awesome. Now it's time for me to make my artwork really unique. I'm going to be using line and color to add some details to my work. I think I'm just going to start with some swirling and wavy lines. I can use these lines to imply the motion. Maybe it's the wind behind the person or action lines coming from them. I think I'm gonna make like a checkerboard floor here so it looks like they're dancing. So I'm just starting with horizontal lines and then I'm going to cross with vertical lines. This is called cross hatching. It's like when you make a tic-tac-toe board in your art. It can be used to create texture or just some interest like I'm doing here. When you color it, you make a pattern of the coloring where you color every other square. And you wanna do diagonals, so it'll look like a checkerboard. You can use different colors if you like. You could do color patterns if you like, or maybe you'll come up with your own idea that's totally yours and you don't even have any sort of checkerboard or floor on your paper. That's also fine. Maybe you're drawing your people outside. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go back up top. I could use a little bit more interest up there. So I'm adding some lines. And it's really creating a lot of movement on my paper. When the viewer's looking at it, their eye is kind of traveling around the paper with the lines. I think I want to give my people some details too, so I'll have to think about that. But in the meantime, I'll add some polka dots. I'm using a lighter color to create contrast. Contrast is when something different is next to something that is different. So purple is a darker color, orange is a lighter color, so that's contrast, dark next to light. Even more contrast here, because I have the purple that's dark and also the black paper next to white, so that white is really popping. All right, now I'm gonna give this guy a hat, I think. I think this person looks like a dancer, so I'm gonna make them a little tutu, like they're ballet dancing. You can come up with ideas that are your own. Maybe yours is holding a baseball bat or throwing a ball. 
Maybe they're holding a hockey stick. Maybe they're golfing or playing tennis. Maybe there's a soccer ball. I don't know. It can be whatever you like. Maybe they have some cool shoes on. The choice is really yours. I think the upside guy, down guy needs some action lines, kind of to show expression. All right, now I have a unique piece of art that implies motion and also shows my knowledge of proportion.